Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to our channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And don't forget to hit that bell. Stay alert when we release new videos. All right guys, on today's video, I wanna go down on the bottom part of our property, uh, behind the house back here. There's a ditch that we need to be able to connect the two paths together. So I have some lumber. We've got some six by sixes um, and some two by tens. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be bolting the two by tens down to the uh, six by sixes with some six inch lags and try to create a bridge to go across the ditch on the bottom down here. Uh, that's basically a runoff drainage ditch. So anytime it rains and we have moisture, uh, it's a ditch that follows the wood line going down to the lower level creek. In order to get to the back pasture from up at the house or the path that goes from the chicken coops that connects the chicken coops together, essentially, we need to get a bridge across there. And that way we can get the tractor and the side by side across. It should be about 10 foot wide. It should be pretty simple. First things first though, <clears throat> I need to get down and do chores real quick. So let's jump on the tractor. I'm gonna get down in the barn, get our chores knocked out, and we'll take a look at the bridge. morning how's your guys' minerals look over here I tell you what let me get a little bit of grain for you guys before the goats get out good morning You want some? There you go. Try that out. Good morning, Red. Hey, good morning, boys. Good morning. I see ya. Our chicken went back down to the coop all on her own. So I'm about to check in on her later and make sure she's doing okay. Ready? Good morning, piggies. Good morning. I'm gonna put a little bit of this safeguard pellets. This is uh, embedazole. Can never pronounce that right. But this is for. Uh, I'm gonna give a little bit to the little pigs. They're young, just to make sure they stay healthy here at this early age. We'll eventually give some of this feed over to uh, the cows too. So they're eating the grain. That's a good sign. I may gotta make that easier. Good morning, pigs. Ah, I see you red.
Hey, good morning. You coming to say hi? There you go, Red. Good morning. Come here. Good morning. There you go. Good morning. <laughs> I think we're going to name him Chuck. And Heifer's name is... Let's see, what was it? Patty. Chuck and Patty. Good morning, ladies. Those fly traps stink, but they're doing its job. They're filling up pretty good. All right, you still got food in there. You still got food. Look at this big old hole you guys are digging. Still working? Oh yeah, still working. Just got filled up yesterday. All right, so not much we got to do for them. They've got water and their feed's good. So they're set for the day. Little pigs, their water barrel's good. They got feed. Big Red's got feed. All the pigs are good right now. Just got to make sure the cow's water is topped off as well as uh, the goat's water. Goats have been fed, so they're done. Well, what are you doing, Chuck? What is Chuck doing? What are you doing, Chuck? You want some water? Is that what you need? Is that what you're coming to tell me? Let's go see. Come on. Yep, that's what you're telling me. Oh, always get a kink. All right, water containers are good for this morning. Yeah, water's good. They've got feed in their trough. Let's just get you guys some scratch. You guys should be good to go. They'll be let out. This door will be opened up later and they'll be able to go out in free range. But we usually don't let them out to free range too early in the morning because of predator issues. We usually late towards the afternoon or late morning. Yeah, I just spread it out. Good morning, Daddy. How you doing? You guys still have food and water? I'll come check. Oh, there's Hobbles. I just seen her go in there. Oh, that's good. She's back in here. <laughs> she came down from the barn by herself to join back up with the flock. I just hope she's not getting beat up on, which she is. I can see right now. Come here. Hey, you're gonna get beat up on. You're gonna get beat up on. I'm putting some of this up there. <laughs> Let's check on the ducks real quick first. All right, they still have their water. They've got food. Pie's sitting on a clutch of eggs. Well, there's Pie right there, but she's got a clutch of eggs inside in a nest. Let's see if she wants some of this. Here, Pie, you want some of this? You want some of that? No? Come on, you're going back up with the goats. The live trap. <laughs> Jerry came down to put the chickens up last night and read one of the, the big, the older chickens she caught herself in there, the trap was closed. So I guess that's not a good spot to keep the live trap for uh, free range and chickens. Hey, you guys eating all the cows feed. What, you don't wanna go there? You can go there. No, you can go down here. There you go, here. 
<laughs> Trying to put the a couple spots where the goats won't get it. I guess just splink, sprinkling it around out here where she can come out and free range it. That'll work. You all done with breakfast? No, you still got some in there. Saving a little bit for later? I don't blame you. Last thing we gotta do is just double check the small chicken. Make sure their food and water's good. Um, I believe they should be fine right now as it is. But they're on the opposite side of the property. They're not right here with everybody else. So I typically have to walk all the way around. That's usually my last stop before going back to the house. But since I'm not going back to the house, we'll get to them in a little bit because I'm pretty sure they've got their food and water taken care of for this morning. Uh, we've got to go down this path anyways here in a minute. So we'll head towards them and get them knocked out a little bit later. All right, ladies. Guys, have a good one. Let's get up here. Try to get some of this lumber out. Got it all stored in the barn. Should be a pretty fairly easy project. Um, at least the build part. Leveling it out down there and getting it in place might be a little bit of work. Hey, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> all right. We're gonna need two of these. Six by sixes. Okay. What are you doing? Let me just grab this one. Okay, there they are. I've got to get these two by ten by tens out here. And the goal is one six by six at each end, and then two more about the width of the tractor wheels to hold that weight. Um, and then Pretty much butt them up. We'll just have a little gap in between the boards as we work down. We've got six inch legs that we'll use to drill these down. But before we get too far, I have the other two at the bottom of the hill down there. So I guess we can go down, pick those up, knock out the other chickens, and then get back up here. Uh, look at Garth. He's just standing up there. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just eating the cow's feed. <laughs> That's some good firewood. We'll have to come back and cut that up. Hi, pigs. Whew. 
So this is the bottom of the hill behind the house down in the valley. This is at the corner of the pasture, the pig pasture. We have a walking bridge that's here that connects that so we walk across this path to go up to the back field or the back pasture. But I want to be able to drive through here. So we've had it maintained to be able to drive all the way down. The issue is there's a big ditch right here from all the water drainage. So I want to build the 10 foot wide bridge. We'll build it, we'll come over here, set it in place, figure out what we need to dig out, level out, maybe put some cement paver stone or blocks down underneath the legs and just set it in place. And we could always grade some dirt up to it to make it uh, so it's not all bumpy coming off. But what I want to do though is get these two six by sixes and get them moved back up to the barn. And instead of carrying them all the way back up there, I figured I'd utilize the new forks, put these things to work. Chickens hate when the tractor and lawnmower come around. They do not like it. Uh-oh. I guess we gotta get them water. They knocked their water over. Let's go get that. They all ran inside the coop or around back. <laughs> hey guys. You guys are needing another water container, huh? Look. There's some water for now. All right. All right. I guess I'll put a little bit more food too. Fill this other one up while I'm here. Might as well. guys I'll give you a little bit of scratch to hold you off for now until we let you out later Close that yet. There we go. That ought to hold you off for a little bit. Alright. Now I need to head back up to the barn and uh, let's get this bridge built. All right guys, now that we got the morning chores done and everything's taken care of, I wanna get this bridge built. So I just laid out these six by sixes on the ground. I've got the two by tens we're gonna lay out. Should be pretty simple. I don't have to cut anything. Uh, the design is basically to use these six by sixes I already have here. So we already had these eight foot um, boards here. Uh, preferably like 10 or 12 foot, but that's okay. We can make do with these. And then uh, the two by tens, we're just gonna go ahead and lay on here. Maybe keeping just a little gap in between each one um, for expansion in case that happens. But uh, it's just going to be pretty simple. Line it up with the 6x6s, six use the 6-inch lags, and drill in. One thing I do want to do is I'm just going to double check the measurement of the front wheels or the wheel stance of the tractor because that is where I want to put the two middle boards in here. Center to center. It's roughly about 5 feet apart, center to center. So, just got to make sure we evenly space them on the bottom down here and keep those center to center five foot and then make the distance between the side ones the same. Let me go grab uh, the other six by sixes off the tractor there. We'll get them laid out and just trying to get a general idea on the ground and then we'll start uh, bolting down the two by tens.
Just fast forward here. I'll we'll get this taken care of. I want to get all the rest of these screws in. It's going to take some time. So, ready? All right. So, we went ahead and got two of those six inch lag bolts in each board on each one of these support six by sixes. Now, I do know I'm really wanting to put something in the middle so it doesn't dip too bad, um, but more than likely, everything's going to be driven over the width of this. I do have another six by six I could use. I just don't know if I want to use it right now because I'm going to use the forks of the tractor. We're going to just come around. I'm going to grab this and try to angle the forks to carry this down in the woods. But I might add support to it when we get down there just to make sure the fitting of this. Uh, um, the only issue is I only have, I think, three of those bolts left. Yeah, we only got three of these left, so I'd have to use nails to finish it off. Let me see if I can't figure out what the forks and get over here and see how this is going to be handling. And uh, if I'm able to put the middle one on, I'll do that real quick here. All right. So I ended up changing the rope design. I went around from the sides of these. The forks right here, I tied it one side here, went through looped around, came back up, tied that side. Then I brought the rope in there to create tension in the middle. I'm hoping that holding this together is gonna hold the front up enough that we can balance this to get down in the woods, but we'll see. Let me pull this up.
Pig's got the zoomies. So what we want to look at is where are we hitting, where are we not, what's super high. Like over here is a little high, but I believe that's an old tree stump or something in there that may be hard to get down. If anything, maybe we could clear out the real high spots and then if it's real low, we'll put a block or two under there. Some block, hold that up. I'd rather be a little high for water than be too low. This walking bridge has been here and hasn't got washed away, so that's a good height. You know, so that's why I was gonna lower this down. Basically, we know from here to here is where the shovel mark needs to be. What are you guys doing? Coming down to say hello? All right, I came in and I marked the high spot that needs to come down. It's just this top corner, which is an old tree root system. There's big old roots. Now it's gonna take some work. We gotta cut this corner down. That corner sits down, that sets down, and that sets down fairly close. Once we get this down, it'll come down. Then we'll need to get eight blocks, possibly, um, to put under each one of these, leveled off under each one of these six by six posts. So four on each side right now. And like I said, um, now that I see what's going on here, we may not need that middle support here. Um, I may end up just putting some tracks just to hold these two by uh, tens from warping up and down. I'll just put some uh, like two two by fours to come down this way. Just hold that from bowing down. All right, well, storms are back. I mean, I want the rain, that's good, but it's gonna delay me from working on that bridge down there. That's all right, give me a break here. Let this kind of pass through, give us some much needed moisture out there and it's coming down, it's getting heavier. <laughs> all right, the rain has stopped and it's a little late, but let me see if we can get down there and potentially get this bridge set. Uh, we did get down there and get the blocks leveled out that are on the bottom where we need to put the bridge. So as soon as I get down there, I'll kind of give an update on those. So you could see I went ahead and positioned the blocks where I do believe the supporting six by sixes are gonna lay. I took a four by four, um, eight foot long there to use to try to put across the different blocks to get level. And I went across block, block to block, block to block here and vice versa down this line. Now a couple of the, they're not all perfectly in line, I just needed to have them in the general area where the six by sixes are. The goal is we're gonna take the strap, I hope this works, I'm gonna take the strap underneath to hold the front end up enough that I could pick it up. We're gonna back up the trail, we're gonna come back down, turn it wide right there and try to come on as straight as possible here and we'll slowly try to level this down. I'll get off and I'll make sure everything's lined up and we'll just keep going, going, going until we get it put down on the blocks where it needs to go. Once that's done, I'll have to put the bucket back on the front of the tractor and get some fill dirt and we'll have to fill in the ground here up to the edge, uh, build that out and do the same thing on this side, level that off so it's a nice smooth, it's not a big drop off off the bridge. next day I finished work and of course <laughs> thunderstorms are rolling in we've got severe thunderstorms rolling in so I'm gonna come out 
and try to get down there. Uh, I wanted to see, it rained real hard earlier. I wanted to see if the bridge held up and how the dirt looks. So I'm just gonna jump into side by side. We're gonna drive down, drive across the bridge just to make sure it's good. And then uh, as long as the sky hasn't fallen yet, I might go try to grab some of the seed, uh, grass seed up at the barn and try to spread that while we have this rain coming down. So gonna get a little wet, but hopefully we can get this knocked out. <laughs> Let's go from the other side here. I don't know guys, it looks like it's gonna be throwing down pretty hard here real quick. These last three days trying to work on this bridge has been pretty interesting. This weather has just been storming almost every day. And it gets real muddy down here too. Oh, the bridge is looking good. Let's see. All right. Oh yeah. Settled down pretty good. So I drove over it with the side-by-side uh, -side and we didn't sink in in the mud, which is a good sign. Now I just, I would like to get some grass seed and throw it down here before it really starts throwing down, which is already raining pretty good. Don't know if we're gonna make it, but let's get up to the barn and grab that seed real quick. All right, I'll put the camera in here, try to keep it dry. But uh, I have this microphone on. So you guys should be able to hear me just fine. Gosh, it's muddy out here though. I need to get a tool to uh, see if I have a knife. Prefer not to be standing out here in the rain. Oh, there we go, scissors, that'll work. There we go. Let me get down here, set this on the bridge. There we go. Just gonna seed all this. I want roots to grow to help hold this together without washing out. And I figured now is a good time. It's raining anyways. Just gonna lay it on there nice and thick. got the seed spread I'm just gonna get the hay that we had get it spread over here to try to help with the washout I think that's good. Make sure this is all looking good over here. And it is. Let me get this. Just trying to make sure there's no real big chunks here. It's all kind of spread out. Good enough. All right, now I am completely soaked and covered <laughs> in hay. That's all right though, because we got, we got the bridge put together. And uh, I tell you what, let's get out here and take a look. I know it's raining pretty hard, but real quick here. There's the bridge, we got the hay put down, it's seated, and uh, it seems like it's setting pretty good. I walk across it, I'm not sinking in too far, actually not sinking at all. It does get real wet down here in the low. As you can see, it's already accumulating water. I'm, that's gonna wash out, and that's why 
this drainage ditch is gonna run water underneath it. But as far as the bridge goes, it's all connected, ready to roll. Let's get back up to the house though. I'm already soaking wet and it's only getting heavier out here. <laughs> all right guys, made it back to, up to the house. As you can see, the sky has fallen out and we are getting pretty heavy rains here. Thunder and lightning and all that. But hey, we got the seed put down, which is good. So this rain's gonna help with that seed germination process. But we're just gonna hang out here, watch the storm and uh, yeah. Get back out and do chores later, maybe after I uh, put on some drier clothes. <laughs> All right, well, I appreciate everyone following along to the end of today's video. That uh, feels good to get that bridge built and put up out back. It's gonna make navigating the terrain much easier. We're gonna be able, be able to go from behind the house, down the path, out into the back pasture without having to go all the way around the barn. Uh, that's a really good thing. So I've been wanting to get that done and now it's done. Hopefully we can check on it here in a few days and maybe this grass from the rain and whatnot will start to uh, germinate and sprout up. So I'll have to provide an update that at a later time. All right guys, well, until next time, we'll see you later.